So, Pokemon Go Plus. It's a lovely day and I've been out to try it out. And um, it's this little fella here. Um, obviously, those who know already know what it does. Um, what it does is it pairs with your phone um, and pairs with the Pokemon Go app. And then it tells you about Pokemon uh, by lighting up different colours. It lights up green for new Pokemons in the area. Uh, blue if you get to a Pokestop and you can collect the Pokestop just by pressing the button. Um, and when you find a Pokemon and you try to battle it, it'll either turn, you press the button to try and catch it, it'll blink in and out white. Um, I suppose that symbolizes the, the rings. And uh, yeah, you press the button and it'll either go green or red whether you caught a Pokemon or not. Um, it's pretty clever and I suppose it does save a little bit of battery life on your phone. Um, and it only takes, it takes a little coin battery like you put in a watch. So it's a pretty nifty piece of kit. Now, I wasn't going to buy one. Because um, obviously the pre-orders were sold out for months and months, for, for well, weeks and weeks, I suppose. And uh, but I just happened to be on the Nintendo website uh, last Saturday, and I, I noticed that they'd done a second run of pre-orders, and I thought, well, I've got to really, because they're you know, even if I want to get rid of it, I can probably still get nearly market price on eBay or, or trading or something like that anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a nifty little piece of kit. And it's still connected to my phone now, so uh, nothing seems to have turned up yet, uh, which is disappointing because I would like to have shown how it works, but I'm not, although I am in a reasonable area for Pokemon, um, obviously nothing's, it's, it's just worked out that nothing's going to turn up when I'm recording this, um, which is a shame. And by the way, it does work with Android now. Um, there were lots of rumours floating about, I don't know where they came from, presumably from Apple executives, that it wouldn't work with Android, it would only work with Apple. Um, maybe part of the deal for getting Pokemon Go on their Apple Watch, maybe part of the deal was the, the rumour mill, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so here you are, in hand. Actually, it's not... The official release date is tomorrow, Friday the, whatever it is, 17th, 18th, anyway, it's the Friday, um, and this is Thursday I'm recording this, and I'm quite happy it actually turned up early. Um, all them poor people that paid £100 for the pre-order on eBay probably won't be getting theirs early, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had a look at the Nintendo website two nights ago and pre-orders were still going then, so obviously news hasn't got about, or either that, or it's lost its appeal somewhat. Um, but I think this will, um, I think you're going to see a lot more people playing Pokemon Go in the next couple of weeks again, um, because they've got this. One quibble I would have with it is the instruction manual isn't too clear on how you actually pair it up. It tells you how to unpair it, um, but anyone with a modicum of technical knowledge should be able to do it absolutely no problem. Um, so this is just like, like a, a, a sort of, what would you look at, what would you call it? Like a critique or, or whatever of the hardware. I'll probably do, I might actually go and do um, a couple of hours of Pokemon catching because um, I haven't had a lot of time today. I might actually do that at some point and, and video that. Um, but there's so many of them on YouTube, to be perfectly honest, I might not even bother. But yeah, so that's my that's my opinion on Pokemon Go. It's quite fun. Whether it's worth the 35 quid asking price, I don't know. I think you'd have to be a serious player um, to do that. I might, I might have this a couple of weeks and then trade it in, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it does come with a little nifty wrist strap, so you can wear it like a watch, but I've just been clipping it to my pocket, so... Yeah, and it vibrates when you're near a Pokemon as well, um, which is quite handy because my phone actually doesn't do that. It, it has it on the app, but the feature doesn't work. Um, so yeah, quite handy. I think absolutely nothing. It also, I, I don't know if I did mention this, it lights up blue when you're at a Pokestop and you can press the button to collect stuff, which is quite good. So it's blue for a Pokestop. It's green when you see a new, when you see a Pokemon. 
Um, it's it flashes white when you have to catch the Pokemon, and I think you have to get it on solid white. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, and it's red if you try to catch him and then miss him. Uh, and I've as yet it's only caught Pokemon that I already I already have now. I think part of the part of the thing is that if you find one that you don't already have, you still have to open up your phone and and go into it. But what I do like as well is that it gives me notifications on my phone of what happens. So it it tells me, you know, if I press it when it's blue, it, you get no feedback here. But what it does do, is it comes up with a thing on your phone that says uh, you you got three items at the poker stop or whatever. So that's a pretty good feature. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm, I might keep it for a little while and then get rid of it. Um, and that is probably what I will do. So let me know if you want to see. If you really, really need to see more YouTube content with people catching Pokemon, then let me know, and I'll, I'll try and accommodate that. I can go on a nice river walk as well at the same time. It'd be quite nice for me. Um, and if you've if you've bought one of these and and you think uh, I don't know or, or you've discovered a feature that I don't know about, um, then let me know that as well. Um, so the, you know the comments are always open to you. And um, yeah, so Pokemon Go Plus, I think it's quite nifty. Whether it's worth whether it's thirty five pounds worth of nifty, I'm not too sure. But well, we'll it remains to be seen. I took a punt basically because the pre orders were were going live again. So. Thought, well, why not? Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.